Hey art nerds, I have here a package that's arrived just in time from China for the end of World Watercolor Month. Let's go ahead and cut it open and take a look at what's inside. So inside our little bubble wrap mailer bag, we have a box. Unfortunately, slitting the top was not enough, so I'm gonna have to give it another cut. Okay, so after much shredding, I think we finally got it free. So inside our bag, there was a box and the box is pretty securely bubble wrapped. They really didn't want this getting damaged in transit. And I know what this is. I'm wondering if any of you guys will be able to guess. So they really taped this up good. Okay, so inside is our superior box. Let's take a look at what's inside it. So, what is this? What is this? Any guesses, you guys? We have two straps. It doesn't smell too strongly of toxic chemicals. We have a very small water brush. We have a little bitty case. And then what do we have over here? We have really small, really thin half pans of watercolor. So can you guys guess how this comes together? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, submitted your answers. This is actually a watch style watercolor kit and one of my friends linked it to me. Ah, okay. Oh, these are replacement pans in case you don't like the colors inside. Now see, I'd ordered the 24 pigment one, I believe. So we have three, this is actually 18 now. Um, we have, so that's not really either of what we ordered because we have six, six, and six. Six times three is 18. So we have 18 colors instead of 12 or 24. And I was thinking the 24 would be able to hold 24 palettes, but it seems like it can only hold 12 at a time. So it's a teeny tiny watercolor palette made by Superior. I wonder if they're the same people who made the fan watercolor I recently, well, recently as of a year ago reviewed. Now these are held in place with a little bit of sticky on the back. These don't have any sticky in them. I'm gonna try removing the sticky to see if perhaps we can pop these in and out of the palette a little bit more easily. Move that, pop that into place. Will it fall out? No, it doesn't fall out. Seems decently secure. Okay, so we have our 12 colors plus an additional set of six colors. We have teeny tiny little sponges so that you can kind of clean off your water brush. We have a tiny water brush that could fit in your pocket. We have a small mixing palette surface. Then we have the area where you insert your watch band. So I don't think we have any instructions. Let me double check the box. It's a beautifully presented box that does not seem to come with any instructions. So I don't know. And it's the Superior Show You Watercolor 12. And it's just meant to be kind of a wearable palette. I know there are tutorials online for ways you can, oh, this is how it goes. Ways you can make your own watch size watercolor palette. But one of the big problems I have when I'm doing travel watercolor is just, you know, having space to hold everything. Oh, wow, this is sure a thing, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of the bands on for you guys and then I will get an adult type person to help me with getting the other band on. And you wanna do it the right way because I have a feeling once we get it on, if we don't do it the right way. Okay, so this one's snapped on. We will never get it off. 
Okay, it took a little bit of adult help, but we have it assembled. So this is how it opens and it fans out like this. I'll show you guys, this seems like it needs a trip to Cheekwood or maybe a hiking trip to put it to the test. Okay, so the band actually surprisingly doesn't stink. Um, it doesn't smell like chemicals. Uh, decently feels decently well made. So, and it's just meant to like, you would definitely, like if you hold your stuff like this, you're gonna wanna twist it so that the palette's facing up, but that's not really a design flaw so much as like a consideration our, on our end. So the form feature, form factor is really neat. What I liked about this is I figured even if the paints are awful, I could fill it with my own favorite colors and I still liked the form factor. So I thought I ordered white with a pink case and I got black with a blue case, but that's okay. Uh, still works, still does what it's gonna do. So let's go ahead and fill up that little bitty water brush and swatch this. Okay, so I have a full water brush. I have everything kind of laid out. I also have some Fluid 100 Easy Block paper to test this on. And I want to grab the blast from our past, the Superior Watercolor Fan Palette I was telling you guys about. This is also designed to be a travel watercolor palette. And you guys can check out the unboxing swatch for that and the field test for that. And what I ended up deciding about this is it's actually not that bad. I don't like it as a travel palette. I find the form factor to be very difficult to use if you are painting while traveling, but it does give you a lot of colors. And I think I decided that this was a palette I wanted to revisit at another time. So you guys are gonna have to keep an eye out for that video. But I wanted to show it because it is very similar to this and I believe it's even made by the same company. And when I review art supplies here on this channel, I see a lot of the same things over and over and over again. So I get really excited even by gimmicky things because there's something new. They're exciting for me. So we're gonna swatch all 18 of these colors. I don't know why we don't have 24, like we should, but we're gonna swatch all 18 of these colors on this Fluid 100 watercolor paper. I'm going to do that in time lapse using the water brush and then I'll check in with you guys and we'll talk about how it handles. Before we do that, I do wanna point out though that um, there's no color information on the chiclets themselves. There was no printed information in the package. There's no printed information on here. So there's really no color information. Kind of similar, I mean, at least with this one, we have like little swatches here with numbers. With this, we don't get anything. So we may have to take a little bit of a Sharpie and number things just so that it's easier for us to figure out. So before I start swatching, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all the chiclets, remove the weird little glue dots from the back and label them with a Sharpie. And don't worry, I'm only gonna do one live on camera for you guys. I'm gonna do the rest in time lapse. So this one has already had its back removed. If this ends up causing a problem, I do have Tombow removable adhesive that I can use uh, just to kind of hold them in the palette or I could use washi tape or I could use double stick tape. I'm not really concerned about, you know, <laughs> ruining the usability of this product. So let's start by prying out the white and actually find that they're a little bit difficult to pry out. And I do have fingernails. If you don't have fingernails, this is going to be more of a challenge for you. And I'm just going to rub the glue away with my fingers. You could use something like glue gone, but that's, that's toxic. We don't want to use toxic things more than we have to on this channel. So I'm going to set these aside. These are the little free floaters and I'm just going to work my way through removing all of them. And then I'm going to label all of them.
Okay guys, so I have the initial 12 numbered. I'm actually gonna leave these unnumbered because I think these might be some duplicates of this. So I'm gonna wait until I swatch them to kind of decide that. So I'm just going to reassemble our little palette and then we can get to swatching. All right, so I've had a chance to swatch all 18 colors. There aren't as many duplicates as I thought. This is more of a very cool yellow. This is sort of a mid yellow. This is um, kind of a medium warm yellow. This is a very warm yellow. So they're all different. You could replace them with your favorites. In fact, I probably will go with these two yellows since these two are very similar. Um, this red here, very similar to six, but not necessarily the same. This is more of a phthalo blue. This is a cerulean blue. And these both look like ultramarines. This might be ultramarine deep and this might be ultramarine light. This is kind of a spring green. Um, this is more of like a green gold. I'm fairly pleased with the color selection they've included. Um, my only kind of regret is that they included a, a black and I would maybe prefer a, bar a burnt umber instead. Well, see we have yellow ochre and we have burnt sienna, but a burnt umber would be really useful as well. Um, it's not overly full of convenience colors, which is nice um, just because it allows you with more, allows you more mixability. Convenience colors are useful though when you're painting out in the field. I found the colors to be fairly saturated. You can see mo most of them are also fairly transparent with the exception of the white. I feel like I could just always get rid of the white from any set because I never really use the white. But um, so the next thing I want to test is mixability a little bit just to see how well they mix. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to remove this page here. We'll work on the one right behind it. And don't worry, I'm going to have links where you can get this if you're interested in it yourself. We're going to have a price for you in the future, so that is coming up.
Okay guys, so I did a little bit of color mixing and it had a chance to dry and I have some thoughts. So the mini water brush takes a lot of water to clean. You guys saw me constantly cleaning it out here on this paper towel and I went and refilled it several times while doing this little swatch test. So if you're in the field, you're definitely going to want to bring either something to refill this with, know that you have a source to refill it from, bring a larger, larger water container and maybe just use travel watercolor brushes. It is pretty hand size and it is pocket size though. So that is a big plus. Um, the paints are fairly transparent and they're very fast to activate, which is good for in the field, quick gestural painting. I also found that the paints mix fairly cleanly, which is nice and a little bit surprising. There's a small amount of sedimentation with some colors. It's just enough to add visual interest and to prevent the colors from being flat. And you guys can kind of see that with some of these color over color blends. Although when we mix the colors, we're able to get fairly clean color colors as well. The only thing I'm really disappointed about is I wish they would have included a purple. We ended up with multiple reds, multiple blues, a couple of different greens. Pretty good color selection. I'm pretty pleased with the color selection, but we could have really used a purple because I am not sure that we would be able to mix a good purple from the colors in this set. So that's kind of the only problem I have. I also don't think these very cute, very little sponges are going to be much good for scrubbing your brush. So for my set, I actually found that I like this yellow and this yellow better than the two that are already in the set. Otherwise, the colors in the set are pretty good. I might switch something out for this spring green, although I really like having the green gold as well. And you can mix a pretty similar green from this very light yellow with your kind of phthalo blue color that was included. So maybe I won't swap that out. So this is the listing on AliExpress. Um, I'm not a new user, so I couldn't use the new user discount. You can either order the 12 color set or the 24 color set with the 12 color set being, of course, the cheaper of the two sets. I thought I ordered this. I thought I ordered the pink set with the white box and you can see this box is about twice as long as the box I received and I'll show you guys by holding my little box up in front of it. So they look similar, but the one here is twice as big. I thought I ordered the 24. I'm gonna have to go dig through my emails and I thought I ordered the white. Give it a second. This is what I received instead though. So I don't know, maybe this is what I actually ordered. And as you guys can see, the photos kind of show what's going on, but they don't provide a lot of information. And of course, the shipping was free. I would say it is durable. I would say it's colorful. I would say the colors are concentrated or saturated. And I would say it's very portable. So they do deliver on this. Here's a listing for what's in the 12 color set. Here is what's in the 24, which is what I thought I was receiving. So many colors. I don't actually need all those colors though. And it says it comes with a fountain pen. That's in reference to the water brush. So I think that about covers it. The brand is superior. The name is Watch Solid Watercolor. It comes in either 12 or 24 half pans. The color block itself is 20 millimeters or in parentheses, I'm sorry, in quotation marks, 15 millimeters. You can get a pink gift box or a blue gift box and it is for watercolor painting creation and design. And I would say it's actually impressively well built for what it is. I've gotten a lot of, I've ordered, I've purchased a lot of stuff from AliExpress, from Wish. Often it's junk. This isn't junk. 
So I look forward to putting this to the field test in the near future and giving you guys some tested feedback. Art nerds, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today, helping me with this unbox and swatch. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm really glad I could bring you something a little bit different, a little bit unusual today. I really look forward to getting to put this neat little watercolor palette to the field test. I might get a chance to do that tomorrow because I'm supposed to go out hiking. So it'll be really cool to see how it handles under real world field conditions. That's the best way to tell if an art supply product, particularly one for plain air travel, is actually a functional art supply products. So for my $30, I received one rubbery watch band with metal findings. Not bad, not bad quality. One tiny little watercolor palette with 12 pans and an additional six pans. Although I purchased the 24 pans, so I'm wondering where my six additional pans wandered off to. I also received a really nice, overly nice for what it is, presentation slash gift box that says superior on the cover too bad I'm gonna have to toss this because this is just it's an it's a lovely box but it's too big and I don't really need more boxes I certainly don't need this big old box to contain this tiny cute little palette so do I think this palette was worth 30 bucks absolutely not do, please don't pay 30 bucks please do not pay 30 bucks um, I'm going to link you to where I purchased it on AliExpress if you absolutely cannot resist, but I'm going to try to find alternate listings where this is more affordable. I found with this weird fan palette, the one I purchased this initially from uh, inst an Instagram ad, and uh, I purchased it through Prestigify, and they wanted way too much money for it. And if I had only waited a couple of months, Amazon would have had these for about 19 bucks, which is way more what this should cost. This here... I would say 15. What I like about it particularly is once I run out of these colors, I can refill these from tubes with my own favorite watercolors and it's still gonna maintain the slim form factor. So what I was really okay with paying was the fact that this is, it goes on your wrist like a watch. The, the pans are, they're not full half pan depth, but they're half pan size. So it's not like trying to work on tiny little things like that mini palette I reviewed for you guys. There's a mixing palette on the side and it just seemed like it might actually work for me and how I do plein air painting. I figured if I didn't like the paints, I could pry them out and refill it with whatever I wanted. It's a little bonus that I actually think the paints are decent for what they are. So thank you guys so much for helping me out. Let me know in the comments below if you would pay $30 out of pocket for this little watercolor kit. I know you can also make watercolor palette watches. I'll see if I can dig up any links for that as well. I don't intend on doing that because I knew the material cost would be as much as it would cost to just buy this thing. So I kind of weighed my options and I figured this was the better way to go. So, um, yeah, I definitely think it's worth 15. I do not think it's worth 30 that I paid and I will see you guys with another art supply review art supply tutorial in the near future so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy what I do and you want to see more of it make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't ever miss a video I always have really cool reviews and really cool tutorials coming up and you would hate to miss those so please make sure you hit that button and click the bell notification so it lets you know when I've got something new coming up bye guys